Hey there, everybody. I am just posting a quick video to show off my haul that I just came in with from Grand Rapids. I went to a couple of different craft outlets and spent $100 from my Christmas crafty cash and thought I would show you guys what I scored. Um, the prices on these ones were as marked, so uh, 215 for these little pearly brads that I think will make some nice centers to flowers. Uh, for $5, I picked up these two embossing folder sets. I haven't seen these before. That's a really nice pattern, and I like the abstractness of the evergreen. It's not too, too Christmassy. Um, some cute little tags from Martha. I'm planning a chunky book page, so who knows what I will use from these Valentine embellishments, but that's what they were bought was the spirit of chunky book page coming up. Those hearts were $1.80 a piece. Um, these Martha Stewart stickers were two fifteen a pack, so I picked up three of them. It's good to have several on hand when you're doing 10 pages. These I just couldn't resist. I almost didn't get them, and then I did, and I like the fact that they have both upper and lower case to be able to spell out little sentiments or things. I think they will come in handy. I also picked up um, some paper here. The crummy thing about the outlet stores is they never have enough sheets for you to do your whole project, so I just had to make peace and pick up some variety of papers for the Valentine swap. This page I thought was so cool and I think I will do the matte medium image transfer with some of these was my hope to paint the whole thing in matte medium and then use the um, images in maybe art journals or things like that. So that was the scrapbook outlet. The other store that I go to up there that is just amazing is the outlet. And I know you can't even see that all in the frame, but we'll get through it. Um, this store is fantastic, phenomenal. I can't say enough good things about it. Um, you never know what you're going to get. A lot of times the packaging is screwed up or you might not have packaging, so you might have to sniff out what it is. Uh, you can never find things in the right place. It's just one of those stores. But you can see here, uh, $12.49 is what this goes for in the store, and then they have it marked for 6 But this week, it's memory week, so anything that's memory is another 40% off. So I got this bead wire for $3.60. And yep, the package is in terrible shape, but guess what? The wire's all good. For $3.60, yes, please. I will take it. Um, this was a really big score. I don't know if any of you have ever used these. When I went to create this past summer, um, we used these in, in an art journaling class with Joanne Sharp. She's in cloth paper scissors all the time. And these big fat markers are amazing and they were 20 bucks for four of them. And I think I paid $4 and some change for them. So that was a really great one. Can never get em enough of these Glimmer Mist, and every time that I go, when Memory Week is there, I pick them up. As you can see, some crud on the label, but I don't care. Three twenty-five, and then it was down to a dollar ninety-five for Santa Baby. This I just saw in Michaels. Yep, it was in a fancy little package and didn't have the sticker that I'm going to have to remove. But for a dollar thirty-five, this Smashbook stamp, um, I will take it for my art journaling. These I used in that art journaling class with Joanne Sharp as well. The Radiant Rains, great product. Um, $1.35. I thought this blue was really pretty. It's pretty intense. So that was a good score. Not really big into pink, but I am into Tim. And for $1.35, I just could not even resist a worn lipstick distress ink from Tim. I don't know if you could have, but I couldn't. I think these are his jump rings. I'm not quite sure because there's no packaging. These actually did pay the $1.25 for because Craft Basics was not on sale. Same with these. Um, they're from 10 Second Studio. It's for metal embossing and for Christmas I got a bunch of metalworking tools and so I'm hoping to be able to break into all that. So for $7.25 I couldn't resist the tools. 
Um, this one I used my secret word on. You get an email once a week, and so then you can get a non-craft item for an additional 50% off. And I almost wish that I bought more because there were several packages of this resin. This is what I've used on some of my assemblages. Um, $24.99, you see it right there. I paid $6.12 for it. And yep, the box is in terrible condition, but doesn't bother me. Uh, these were a spontaneous purchase up at the counter for a dollar oh five a piece. I picked up a couple of them. Again, maybe they will go in my vintage swap. Who knows? Uh, couldn't resist this cute little bird stamp for a dollar eighty. Another set of stamps. These ones my friend had in her cart, and then she decided to put them back, and so I grabbed them. I think I did that because she wanted them is what made me want them. Um, they're by Tweety Jill. Uh, typically a $25 stamp set that I got for $7.35. Pretty decent price. Um, here we see that there are even some stickers missing, and yeah, I bought it because my junk journal is an obsession right now, my Christmas junk journal. I think I might make a video of that if I can do it um, because it's really cool. So these ended up being about 40 cents anyway to stick in my book. That'll be fun. This was my big score or what I was kind of excited about. This was another item that I learned about at my art retreat and they're called Pan Pastels. Um, typically this would have been $30 for this set and paint and paintables were also 50% off, so I paid $7.25, or $7.75, excuse me, for two stacks of these. Um, they are the most creamy, delicious pastel that you've ever used in your life. They work really, really good with stencils. Um, there's videos out there with them. Really hard to see. This is a pastel set, so the colors aren't showing up. Anyway, but then the kit does come with some of the foamy things on the bottom, too, that you apply them with. So I'm really excited about these. Like I said, they work really good with stencils. This, you'll notice my hands are kind of purple. It's because this one's really broken on top. I don't know if I'm going to be able to save that guy. Um, there's some better colors, at least, that you can see. And if you saw how they worked, you would be amazed with these little guys. So I picked up all that they had. Um, they, they're something that I've been wanting ever since I went to Chicago to create. They had them in several different classes and I couldn't resist for $7.75 a piece. This one was a single one and so that one was three so I got it down to $1.50 because paint and paintables was actually 50% off. And then this, as you can see, another really great score. It was $7.25, but then it was another 40% off that. So that means I spent $4.34 on this. The last item I got wasn't at any of the stores. I ran, we ran into Michael's, and I picked up this tape with a 50% off coupon. It was $6.99, and so I got it for $3 and change. At, after going to these outlet stores and seeing everything so marked down, it's kind of hard to go to a regular craft store and pay full price. As you can see, I get some good deals. You never know what you're going to get, though. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.